Today's quick tip is don't send the email. This is for those of you out there, parents and carers and other supporting adults who might sometimes feel a little bit angry about things that are happening with your child. We've all been there. This is sponsored by today's experience, trying to hold it all together whilst things were less than ideal for actually both of my children in two totally different schools. Um, the thing is that when things go wrong or we think things could have been done differently or whatever, it can trigger quite a big response from us and I'm not suggesting that that's unwarranted and I'm not suggesting that these conversations don't need to be had, none of those things, but what I am suggesting is that maybe you write the email but do not send the email, certainly not in that instance. Give it a day, come back to it, think about whether you can tone it down a little bit, think about whether it could be a face-to-face -face conversation that's less likely to trigger a challenging response from the person you sent it to. Just Give it a moment and really think carefully about whether sending this email is going to move things forwards or whether it's just going to create animosity and challenge in your relationship with whom you want. In your relationship with the person to whom you want to send it. It's really tough and particularly if you faced repeated challenges and sometimes we can become like keyboard warriors and just want to get out there and start the fight and get it off our chest and we might feel momentarily better but very rarely is it exactly the right thing to do. Much better, let it sit there in your drafts, come back to it tomorrow, reframe it a little bit and send it at a time of calm or choose not to. I'd love to know how you manage in these moments, these angry moments. Pop it in a comment down below. Have you ever sent an email in the heat of the moment and regretted it? Or have you ever been really glad that you managed not to send it in that moment and then thought afterwards, gosh, that was a good thing. Share your experience of this. I'd love to hear about that. Um, and as ever, thank you for watching. And if you are enjoying my content created, more focused on parents and carers, then please hop along to my Patreon page and consider subscribing there. The uh, income that I'm trying to grow through Patreon is allowing me to focus more effort and energy on creating content to help you to help your child, which is where my true heart lies, but which rarely gets commissioned. So I'd love if you could support with that. Okay, until next time, goodbye from me and goodbye from Mock. <laughs>